क्वेश्चन नंबर 96 द मोस्ट इकोलॉजिकली रिलेवेंट एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर डिक्रीजेस प्रोग्रेसिवली व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इकोलॉजिकली रिलेवेंट एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर इट इज द टेंपरेचर सो दिस टेंपरेचर इट डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम पोल्स टू इक्वेटर नो इट इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम पोल्स टू इक्वेटर बिकॉज़ एट पोल्स देयर इज टेंपरेट रीजन मींस देयर इज कोल्ड रीजन second from mountain tops to the plains no again it increases third one from equator towards the poles yes it decreases from equator towards the poles fourth one from forest of canada to the forest of kerala no so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 97 reduction of leaves into spines and presence of flattened photosynthetic stem are the adaptations seen in reduction of leaves in spines should be seen in the xerophytic plants because in aquatic plants there is no need to reduce the transpiration or to modify the leaves into spines icornian hydrilla both are aquatic plants both are hydrophytes so there is no spine formation in mango also there is no spines formation in opentia which is cactus there is leaf modification the leaves modify into spines and the stem becomes the photosynthetic so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's pick up the next question question number 98 all birds and mammals first option show stage of suspended development in unfavorable conditions no this is called diapause which is shown by the zooplanktons or the phytoplanktons but not by all birds and mammals second move to more hospitable area under stressful conditions this is called migration which is shown by some birds these birds are called migratory birds third one can change their body temperature with the ambient temperature these are conformers they cannot maintain homeostasis but all birds and mammals can maintain homeostasis so this is also wrong fourth one are capable of thermoregulation and osmoregulation yes it is true because they are regulators they can maintain homeostasis so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-nine. Select the odd one with respect to the anthropogenic ecosystem. What is anthropogenic ecosystem? It is man-made ecosystem. For example, crop fields. Let us take an example of wheat field or the rice field. They all are anthropogenic ecosystems. They are man-made ecosystems. So you have to choose the odd one regarding this type of system. Lack of self-regulatory mechanism. Definitely, it will be there. little cycling of nutrients yes presence of simple food chain yes very low productivity no this is the main aim for the anthropogenic ecosystem that we grow for productivity so there will be high productivity or the high yield in anthropogenic ecosystem so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 100 process of decomposition does not involve activity of saprophytic microorganisms no it does saprophytes are there in the decomposition and they play important role in the decomposition process second is better in cold and dry soil no it's better in the dry and humid soil not in the cold soil third one is faster if detritus does not contain lignin tannin cellulose etc it is true if detritus does not have a lignin or tannin the process of decomposition will be faster fourth one occurs only in anaerobic conditions no it requires aerobic conditions a good aeration in the amount of oxygen will enhance the rate of decomposition so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's pick up the next question mm-hmm. 